the latest fans for computers that are being made today will use the Fibonacci code, the logic of the Kudu's horn, in order to pull out with 30% less energy. Now, if you have less energy used, then you will have less noise. What's one of the things that bothers us with a computer? It makes noise. The fan makes the noise. Now, the noise of the fan means turbulence and friction. It means the bad design. You never hear any bad noise when you're using the mathematics of the Nautilus shell. Here we have an animal, a bird, the penguin, that has learned how to survive in the coldest waters, in the snow, and that means that this bird has actually resolved insulation, energy consumption, energy use. It has resolved so many of the practical problems we have to face. But we look at this incredible bird as a means to derive inspiration in physics, in chemistry, in biology, so that we as human beings can be much more living in harmony with the world around us. Biomimicry is a way of life. Biomimicry is a humble attitude whereby we recognize that we are the recent arrivals on Earth and that these species have resolved so many of the issues that we haven't resolved yet. That these species don't create the collateral damage, they don't have the side effects, the negative effects that we create. So biomimicry is really a way of just simply looking, observing, admiring, being inspired and imagine how we can do better than we're doing today. There is so much wisdom, knowledge, science around us today but we tend to look always for more of that human driven and invented science and it's hard for us to accept that even our space technology and even our modern energy systems and even our food supply systems are quite primitive compared to the way for example the whale has taken care of it a whale produces 6 to 12 volts of electricity to pump a thousand liters through its 175 million kilometers of veins and arteries. I mean, how does a pump that we have in our industrial system compare to the pump of the whale? So when you look at a whale, you're seeing a system that is perfectly capable of moving liquids around without friction. Now, that's the genius that you see before you. When you look at the whale, how it can move all of those liquids inside its body, you are about to redesign industrial processes. We're recent arrivals. We're, we've just started to learn how to live on this earth. But my God, we better learn it quickly, otherwise there's no earth left.